Well, radio astronomers have had um, uh, programs for a long time listening for artificial signals coming from other planets. No luck. Um, uh, probably better to look for the environment that life thrives in. Look for a planet, look for um, a planet with an oxygen atmosphere. Our atmosphere is a biological byproduct. Our atmosphere of nitrogen and oxygen was created by biological conditions. Um, so if you come across a, an atmosphere that's got similar composition, mm -hmm. then it must have been created by life that's very like ours. Mm -hmm. Best of all mm -hmm. would be to go to another planet and dig some up. Mm -hmm. So uh, sending spacecraft to Mars, mm -hmm. like the Curiosity rover, and um, carrying out investigations robotically, remotely, uh, looking at the chemistry that goes on, if you like, looking for fossils, but chemical fossils of life. That's one way of, of doing it. Going to Mars on a spacecraft and digging and then bringing some material back mm -hmm. and looking at it to see if it's got life in it, that would be ideal. Mm -hmm. And I think that actually that's the biggest prize from this kind of study. When you find life, you can physically look at life from another world, it's going to be similar to ours, otherwise we wouldn't recognize it, but it's going to be different. And that difference is going to make your brains rattle. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to develop an intellectual capability in biological sciences, in medicine, in biotechnology, that's going to be transformational upon the development of those sorts of um, subjects on Earth. There are going to be huge industrial and medical advances out of finding life and handling it and studying it. So that's the way to do it.